memory. Not for that. Anyway, so he finds this guy. I think named Elliot because he's been taking pictures. He has his cameras up and everything. And he's in this alleyway and he goes to find Elliot's house. And at first, Elliot's not gonna let him in, but little Danielle saw it teleport. So he teleports in his house. And you know they they're working together. And yeah. we, we find out Diego is in an insane asylum. Yeah, he was. <laughs> With this girl um, named... It doesn't matter. It turns out that she was an uh, infiltrator. What was she anyway? She was from the commission, which was five old jobs. So yeah, right. She was a double, a double agent anyway. Mm-hmm. Spoiler. But <laughs> Yeah, um, and he's trying to save JF Kennedy. Which he's like completely off. He's trying to figure out why he's there. He thinks he's there for JFK. Diego. But you gotta love him sometimes. You gotta love him. And I don't know why. But like, then like he finds this Diego. They talk, and he, he has a plan to escape. And he fails because Spy tells the people, the workers, that he has a plan to escape. So then he's like all locked up in a straitjacket. And he still escapes. He gets out. He, I think he dislocates his arm to do it. It didn't go well for him. Mm-hmm. And then what other oh, characters? Oh, Lila was a girlfriend. And Lila can't save his butt because those same guys. Yeah, Lila. The name we learned, aka the Swede, because they're Swedish. Get it? Mm hmm. And um, they're three triplets, like, from my memory. Yeah, they are. They're really crazy assassins, and they're the Swedes. Yeah, and. Um, You'll see them if you guys saw it. They, they were pretty crazy. Yeah, um, and you know what happens next? The AO escapes, and five, I think, jumping into episode. No, episode one. You're just the way into this. You're going to break it down every episode. We, 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 we find Vi- five. We find Luther. And he's doing these battles and yeah. stuff. He's beer knocking boxing. <laughs> and um, we find them at this bar called Insert Inappropriate Name. Um, yeah, not very appropriate for children. Um, and happens. five tells them about Doomsday. And he's like, I don't give a crud about it. You always say that. I don't care if the world's gonna end in like eight days and stuff. <laughs> it was crazy. That first episode was just bananas. We, we also see Vanya. And she has. She looks like she's babysitting a kid whose name is Harlem. And she has amnesia, right? Yeah, because as you witness the second. She gets hit by a car, and she can't remember anyone, anything, or nothing. And there's the mom, Sissy, and um, who's the son, aka Harlem's mom. And Harlem, I feel might have he has um, autism or something yeah, like that. Yeah, I think he has autism. But of course, we didn't have autism back then. They didn't have a name for it. So I guess. Yeah, yeah, poor kid. Yeah. They know so, how to deal with that. Then we meet the dad and the horrible husband. Yeah, that was pretty all messed up. There's some really messed up stuff about that. And then what was that chick? What's the one that has the um, the ability to tell people what to do? Allison. Now, Allison, Al- she's married to this guy named Ray. Oh, I hope, I wish the sweet killed Ray. Ray, I don't like Ray. Ray, because, what are you talking Ray, about? Allison should have been with Luther, not and that, Ray. Ray, you have to love Ray because he's a civil rights activist. Okay, I like Ray because of that, but I don't like Ray because he's dating Allison. Well, married to Allison. You know. And, but Allison still looks at the moon. His symbol of Luther, so. You know, that's the only good part. I get it. But that's not our. That's not what it's about. Yeah. Ray's a pretty cool guy. I I like how he looks and stuff, 
and I thought, no. Um, anyway, let's skip a little. Let's go to episode two, I don't really think I covered everything. Was, in yeah, episode. yeah, you know, it was, it was all good. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got that, and then, what's that one guy? Who's the, who's the guy? He's been like tripping really hard. The guy that can listen to ghosts and everything else like that. Klaus. Oh, I just remembered. I almost forgot Klaus. Now, let me tell you, Klaus. He, he goes and he is waiting to get to. His car breaks down. And you see him in bed and like, you know, Ben being gay, being ghost. He, he's like, Klaus cult. <laughs> okay, anyway. Yeah, he starts a cult. <laughs> a cult? <laughs> right, they up there about to drink Kool-Aid on this fool. Straight up. We find out Klaus has been sober, so that's a good thing. Um, and he's not like doing drugs and alcohol, like to get rid of ghosts. So he goes, and he's trying to get back to Dallas for one person named Dave, his true love that he met in the Vietnam War, because he tele time traveled by accident when Hazel and Cha Cha kidnapped him. Anyway. Yeah, it was before Dave went to the war, so he's going to try to stop Dave from going to the war. And there's a paradox. If he stops Dave going to the war, then what is he going to do when he goes to the war? There's the paradox right there in the time continuum. Because Dave won't be there when he gets there. So who's going to save him? Because Dave saved him. So they would have never met. And there's the paradox. True. Now, this is where it gets wild. <laughs> you see this car, like, Klaus and um, Ben get it out by, and you see this car has fine. They're, he's just looking at Klaus like he's insane. Because they're physically fighting, and it's like Klaus, if Ben is invisible to people besides Klaus, because again, Ben is dead, and it goes. Yeah, you know what? That's something about this Umbrella Academy this season, is that it's always the point that it gets really good when they all come together. Yeah. Right, that's the always thing about the Umbrella Academy, when they all get together in the same room and they're on the same page, but they're always never on the same page. Mm -hmm. They're always say, okay, I'm gonna go do this, you go do that, you go do that. But when they all come together, that's when they're unstoppable. Yeah, and he gambles, these guys, and he tries to steal a car. Fails, um, gets sent to jail, where we meet Ray, who was sent to jail, because his wife, Allison, attacked a cop. Not very smart, Allison. You know. And he finds out that Allison, like, about Allison's power, not fully, but halfway. Yeah, she had to tell him about that. Mm -hmm. That was pretty good. Remember much of that but one thing I do remember is this is when Five really finds out about Diego's escape with Lila. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, uh, what episode was that when they uh, fast forward when they actually met their father? Um, there was a yeah when they actually came together and they actually met their father, and he was like really like you guys are just like a bunch of chumps. <laughs> yeah. Right. You guys need to get it together. Yeah. Um, and you know, this is, I think, also the episode from my memory where Vanya realizes she has power. Oh, yeah. That is a good episode. When yeah. she starts to remember that she has power, she starts to remember her identity. Because she had amnesia. Yeah. And also, Luther, I think, comes to see her also in this episode because he had kicked out Sissy's husband that night. Um, at the insert bad inappropriate word here. Anyway, um, so yeah, and he, I think, goes to not only return the wallet, but also find, you know, his sister. Mm, yeah, there's a lot to this season. There was a lot. That's why we had to break this up. You know, it, it was a lot. Did you, did, are you enjoying season two more than season one? I don't care. I like the musical. Okay. Okay, that's what's up. Umbrella Academy is what's up. Yeah, and then we go. Gonna, um, after a while, 
Spice is able to not only get them all together, even though they're all on a different page, but he also, like, the one major problem is they have to go find their dad. Now, at the time, you only have Wyla and Diego, and Elliot's gonna shoot them, but you know, that never happened, and, you know, after a while, they have to go find out where their dad is going. They find out, they go on this mission, we come, attack them, boom. As you can guess, Lila is also, this is also when we find out, because one, Lila and Diego are like now together, they're like dating, I ship it. Anyway, um, and, um, she, we, that's also, the episode before that, we also find out, like, of course, or that same episode, I can't remember. Anyway, we find out that they, themselves, of course, or like, like that, I mean, I'm getting confused, that Lila knows the handler, and that is her adopted mother, who after she killed her parents, took her and trained her. Spoiler. <laughs> so then, we go, and they go on a mission with Lila, and five friends want to kill Lila, and um, Lila is given the mission to protect five at all costs. She does, so and that causes Abel to get angry because she doesn't help him when he is getting attacked. Yeah, that was good. That was some heavy stuff right there. I mean, you delved into up into this like series. It was pretty hot. And then, like, they have to go meet their father. Yeah, they did, and that's what I was talking about. You know, like he was like really like they need to get their acts together. Yeah, and I'm gonna tell you why because they were acting like fools. Loser took off his literal shirt. He ripped it. Now at the time, <laughs> like, oh, gosh, <laughs> that's wild. Vanya shows her powers. Everyone's trying to prevent it because last time she did, she blew up the moon. Anyway, um, and then I'll get into like Sissy comes to meet Vanya. Now, before this, Sissy and Vanya were having an affair. Spoiler. <laughs> so, in the previous episode... In 1960? Shipping, not that good. Yeah, <laughs> gay marriage is not a great thing. No, it was not. It, it was not accepted, and for his part, his... Her husband finds out... They always he, do. <laughs> and the next day... He, instead of Vanya going with Harlem to aka the kid of Sissy and the husband, um, to a doctor's appointment to keep him calm, and then to the park, she has to go with the husband who calls her a disease and tries to kick her out, which I, I find out really wrong. 1960. <laughs> That's the, well, I'm gonna, I, I skipped one major part, and that was the commission murder. Oh, yeah, yeah. The first thing we ever see was the commission board being killed by five because the handler let him get home if he kills the whole commission board. Which he, they don't get home in time because they completely all mess it up and... Yeah, we'll get into that, but... And Ben's trying to put this class because Ben is able to do that. Yeah, that last episode was pretty hot. It was, yeah, it's, it's good. We, we also find out that when there's their father that Ben can possess Klaus. And Klaus allows him after a few attempts. And boom! Ben possesses him. The reason why is because Ben has a little crush on someone named Jill. Who's part of Klaus's cult. It's just some deep stuff going on right here. It's, it's, it's too much drama going on. That's why we had to break this episode up into two parts for you guys. It goes in a bad date, too. Not a good date with Jill. Um, it doesn't go well. Again, it's rated 14 plus. Be careful. No kids. Be careful. Um, yeah. <laughs> and Diego stops them because, again, like, yeah, and also, also, Elliot is killed. 
the previous